everybody, JT Bear here. I figure it's time today for the much delayed indoor garden update and uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with how a few of these things are going. So let's get started because there's a, you know, a fair bit growing on in here and I just got some new project parts for out in the Frankenponics so I'm going to make this nice and quick. Alright, check it out. So down here on those prickly pear cactus all three of those are now starting to develop nodes on the top. So I'm very excited about that. See what else we got going here in the cactus garden. That one still desperately needs to be transplanted. That one's starting to put up some slightly larger shoots. It'll be exciting to see when that grows. That prickly pear is doing all right, but I'm not quite sure what's with all the white forming at the spine points. So if anybody knows anything about that, please feel free to let me know. Put this Malabar spinach back in place. For those of you who uh, are unfamiliar with Malabar spinach, this is not a true spinach. This is also referred to as climbing spinach or sea long spinach. But when they're full size, these little leaves here are about the same size as my fingers, maybe a little bit bigger, and they are the perfect sandwich green. Okay, seriously, absolutely perfect. In the back, that orchid just seems to be trucking right along. And the walking stick cactus is doing all right. But check out this beside that cactus, okay? Here's that squash. Now these are from the ones I nicked in the community garden. It's crawling up the shelf and back down and look at all of those. I, I'd say this is going to do a darn good attempt at trying to give me some sort of fruit while in the house. Now I don't know much about squash but I do know there are male and female flowers. But seems to me that with that many in there, there's bound to be at least one of each. Oh look, fish food. The lighting's not great here because I had to move my little lamp so I could actually get in here and show you what's going on with my pepper start. Over in the corner there I've got my tomatoes. Take a new angle for those, but some of these pepper plants are starting to look pretty good. Even though I am still dealing with those little sap sucking buggers. But I do seem to be reducing their numbers a little bit. So that's fantastic. Pull this guy out of the tray, well I should say these two, out of the tray so you can see. This is um, two of the three indigo rose seedlings that I planted. They seem to be doing alright. The uh, smallest of them is the one that I put in the aquaponics. So, there is that definite smell of tomato growth though. I love it, I love it. Mmm. Here's the orange fugo pepper. It seems to be putting up with things all right. I haven't sprayed it yet today, but I've been basically spraying these guys with Safer's, Safer's Soap Solution. Oh, I don't know, probably every day, every second day. I'm kind of surprised it hasn't killed the plants off yet, but it does seem to be killing some of those bugs, and the leaves are ending up nice and shiny. Here you can see one of the little blue pepper seedlings. Now these are just tiny, tiny peppers, but that purpling on the leaf there seems to happen with most of the seedlings from this variety of peppers. I don't think it's a deficiency. I think, as I may have stated in one of my earlier videos, it's just kind of an indicator of just how hot those little peppers are going to be if this gets some size. Some of those Bolivian Rainbow Super Chili cross pepper freaks really seem to be doing pretty well since I've transplanted them into these solo cups so they're definitely enjoying the extra root room can't wait till I can start putting some of these guys outside but I'm gonna have to because the three I already put outside yeah they died most tragically so I'm gonna be waiting at least I don't know a week maybe two weeks I have declared summer or summer. Yes, I'm skipping spring entirely. I have declared summer. No, I have declared spring and I have a few signs around the yard that are kind of backing me on that. But the nighttime temperatures, because we are getting crisp, clear nights, so it is dropping right back down to winter temperature at night. Um, unfortunately, that did in my peppers, but my rhubarb is starting to grow. Not that that relates to an indoor garden update. With some of these peppers, I have already started to uh, take the top off of them 
a lot of people refer to it as the Praxis method of pruning. Um, but basically what happens is when you remove the growing top from a plant such as a nightshade, it's going to put down that same energy into the next four leaf junctions and you're going to get branches shooting out and that is how you get your uh, your big bush out of your pepper plants and such. Like I said, a lot of people refer to it as the Praxis method, so uh, if you want to know more about that, you can check out his videos easily enough. Careful though, you will get sucked in. He's got such an enjoyable personality. Stubborn little aloe vera, just dealing with a little bit of light from underneath and whatever it gets from the skylights, but seems to be pretty happy and dry. I guess I should water that. Like I said though, just a super quick update about what's growing on on the indoor garden and uh, I had to show you that squash. I can't believe it. So seriously, if anybody knows how to identify male squash flowers from female squash flowers, I would love that information because I do think I might actually get some squash in here. But I'm going to have to pollinate it myself. So, I don't mind that to be able to have grown a squash and uh, yeah. Please, by all means, if you've got any tips on that one, let me know. I've heard um, you can use a paintbrush or a Q-tip to pollinate from one flower to the other. I just don't know how to identify which is which. I'm better with plumbing than I am with squash. What can I say? All right, everybody. This has been a fantastic day for me so far. It's an absolutely beautiful day out there. I'm going to go out and I'm going to play in the greenhouse. And there may or may not be a video of that. I doubt it, because right now I've got a lot of cleaning to do in that play. But either way, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic day as well, and I will see you next time.